feels good. Fresh air, good for the soul, good for the lungs. So we're here exploring the woodland in the day and how light interacts with the landscape. The reason why I'm doing this is I've wanted to develop my ability to connect with the landscape and capture images in all conditions and light is something that I'm not very confident in. I want to look at how light interacts with the landscape. My Nightscape series that I've done recently looks at how controlled light interacts with your subjects and your compositions. But you can control that and I think there's an element of skill and practice there. But when you have the sun as your torch and you can't control where it shines and it's completely out of your control, that's where the challenge can also come in. So we're exploring light and darkness and how that interacts with the landscape. It's very much a yin and yang and I feel like I'm on a bit of a journey with my photography. So today we're going to look at light, how we can interpret the light that we can't control, but we can control how we position ourselves, what settings we use for our camera and how we compose our images. So that's the key in this video. But before we start, before we even take any images, I just wanted to just take this moment just to communicate with you what it means to me to connect with the landscape and why I'm here. And I've got this slight breeze on my face that's coming through this opening of trees in front of me. And the sun is immediately in front of me. It's kissing the moss below as the rays are shooting down from the sky. It's illuminating the moss like a neon green and scattered in and amongst the um, just sort of sparse trees are these beech trees that are still here. And I can hear in the background a sea of birds of all different species that are intertwining and mingling together, chattering like a melody. It's really peaceful. It's really beautiful. So before we even take our pictures, just have to take a minute to enjoy where you are. Just listen to that silence. Just feel the sun on your face. It feels really calming and relaxing. I think we're ready now. The spring light is upon us. Shimmering iridescent, it dances. It invites the leaves. Unfold, uncurl. Open your span. Take flight another year. The cocoon of winter is opening. Unraveling its folded arms. Spring sprout. The new flowers are blossoming. Velvet petals, a soft silk. Forget me not, I am spring. Bluebell buttercup, a familiar embrace. New life elopes you. The seeds burst and bloom, revitalize re-energize. The woodland breathes, its spring song a chirping melody. The pines growing longer, their roots growing stronger. Flow flourish, a new season is upon us. planned this video I just wanted to come out when I knew there was light and just see how I interpret light and how I learn and maybe that can resonate and teach you so I've just been watching the landscape 
And I can see there are two types of light as the sun comes through or when the sun hides from you. So the first type of light is this harsh light. So you've got these rays coming in, hitting the landscape through the um, canopy of trees. And then also you have diffused light. So this section here, which is still light and illuminated, but it's diffused. So when you think about light and how that interacts with the landscape, you're looking at what type of light that you want and what you want to achieve your, with your composition. And I'm just thinking this off the top of my head because I've seen something which has caught my eye. So now we're in diffused light, I can show you a little bit what I mean. So everything is flat. And not that I'm teaching you to suck eggs, everyone knows that you've got two types of light that come through in the day. It's either diffused or it's bright. So there's a tree over here. You'll never guess what it is. Oh, it's a beech woodland tree. <laughs> But I like how it's being backlit by the sun, so it's just caught my eye. So I'm going to walk over there, take an image of this um, beech woodland tree in the harsh light, let the sun backlight the tree in and amongst these, this woodland and see how that image turns out. I've got no idea how it's going to be, <laughs> if it's going to work out. I have an idea in my mind of how it would look and I can see the light interacting with this tree. So I'm going to try and frame up a composition, see if it works with them. Um, the bright light backlighting the tree. I have seen that in woodland shots um, in other compositions before, um, just through the years of looking at um, woodland photography. And I can just see it looking at me now <laughs> and illuminating in the sun. So let's head over there, capture this image of the wheat woodland tree as it's being illuminated by the beautiful torch of the sun that's coming through. So I'm composing my backlit tree that's illuminated by the sun. It's very orange, very saturated amongst this luminous green. So we're balancing quite a few things here. This is my subject. We've got a lot of highlights, so you want to make sure that you're within uh, the correct settings, you're not overexposed. We're also rotating our polarizer, as you can see here, just to take the glare off the leaves and increase that saturation of colour. So we're going to frame up this backlit beech tree, which is one of many beech trees I've taken this uh, winter to spring. But they're going to be gone soon and you can't always access certain parts of the woodland because of um, vegetation and things coming through. So the light's just changing. I'm going to quickly take this shot. Let me know what you guys think of this backlit, backlit beech woodland tree. <laughs> bee, 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 bee. Enjoy. One thing I wanted to show you, which I think is quite amazing, is we get to witness the change of seasons. We get to see how we go from the darkness of winter into the light and life of spring. So I shot this tree in a, f a few videos ago and it was beaming full of golden beech tree leaves and now it's completely different. I can see all the beech woodland leaves on the scattered across the floor and there's hardly any left on the tree at all. And that's why it's good to react to images, take them as you see them, because you never know the next day, the next week, the next month, it could be completely different. Some of you know I've been shooting with my son. So he is asleep in the woodland which is probably the best experience for a baby. And uh, it took me a while today to get him to sleep because um, he was quite tired. He'd fell asleep in the car and then I had to wake him up to get him in his buggy and then rock him in the forest to sleep. I mean, the life of a baby is a pretty good life. I mean, he is living his best life here, completely out for the count, several blankets, the sound of the birds to send him to sleep. And this view of nature, which is 
better than, I guess, watching TV all day. Although he does love Puss and Pat. I think it's important he has a bit of comfort in something else other than the trees that he's used to seeing. Um, but yeah, a little bit behind the scenes, which is what I've been sharing with you guys recently, just to show you a little bit more about me and uh, the reality of filming. So yeah, he's asleep in his three-wheel buggy. I've adapted it to put off-road um, mountain bike tires on the buggy so it can just chop up <laughs> woodland tracks really well. Bog, fine. Um, puddles, mud, it gets through everything. Um, so it means I'm just more mobile, which is great. Um, so yeah, he is asleep. Let's head around without disturbing him because if he wakes up, that is the end of the video. So we've had to cut the video short because this little one has reached its time limit. We're going to continue this light series over the next few videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to enjoy a nice well-earned lemon cake and some hot chocolate. See you in the next video. Take care.